Yen Sheldon had been presenting the loss through a single camera lens, giving us a glimpse into the lives of Sheldon's family in Texas, but Georgia and Matt Spinoff are taking a different approach, it will be a multi-camera endeavor. What exactly does this mean? Playing the Big Bang Theory with a live audience and the iconic love song, but why switch networks? Raoul believes that it all boils down to finances. Yes, Bucks and Sons at Playby are becoming multi-camera. CBS is looking to save money. We don't have any specific data, but it appears to be a major move. Changing the format is not as easy as pressing a button. There's a risk. Yen Sheldon liked the single camera technique, which allows for a storytelling experience. The Sheldon family story has made us laugh, cry, and experience some very terrible moments. All of this was made feasible by the utilization of the same camp layout with Georgia and Manda's spin off multi camera, big obstacles lie ahead. Remember the lovely family memories and near death experiences? They may be more difficult to pull off in a multi camera setup. And let's talk about love songs, whether you like them or not, they will appear in the spin off. The diversity of canned laughter is genuine, especially with the rise of single camera series that enable the humor to flow freely, but Toria and Mandy's show looks to have to let it all go in order for CBS to ghost cut mission. Some of you may be asking if this is really a huge deal in Yun Sheldon's world. It kind of is, although the original prequel successfully diverged from the Big Bang Theory's multi camp format. Doria and M's spin-off is apparently a continuation of Yun Sheldon, but without Sheldon and most likely George, so brace yourself since the change may affect the entire field of the cities. Will it hit the mark with the audience, or will it be a dangerous move? Stay tuned for all of the updates, which I will share with you in the upcoming video.